How's it going guys? Welcome back to Frostpunk. I'm Jack and this is our perfect generator playthrough on the last autumn. It's going okay at the moment. We're st actually no, it's going pretty well. We're five days ahead of schedule, which is amazing. However, we've just had an accident <laughs> in the um, uh, in the tower pumps, so that was not good. And uh, a load of people were injured. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take, no, I'm not going to, I'm going to take people off there. I don't want people working in the deadly conditions. Um, it's these toxic gases, man. This this is what's killing us right now. Uh, let's connect this road up as well. Amazing. So we're going to focus on... Uh, well, we wanted to get more resources, really. Because we are, like, we are so... We are running so low on that. Um, so... But then we're going to need... This is the thing. We're going to need more... A lot more work... Uh, like, a hell of a lot more workers, so I'm just going to order order a bunch more. Another 25, if I can. Yep, all of those. The machine shop is on strike. Of course it is. What are you doing? You're not doing anything anyway, so I'm just going to offer them the day off. Yeah, that's work. That's fine. They're not actually doing anything at the moment. Good old Aunt Sally. Workers' Council took the initiative to organise an after-hours Aunt Sally tournament. Amazing. Anything to get motivation up, I'm all all for. Um, so, yeah, we, I kind of want more. Like, I just need more production on everything. That's what I need. Um, this is full, so you know what? We might need a stock. Actually, yeah, we do need a stockpile of coal. Um, so if I put a couple of those down, because. That is just a that is just a waste of 20, 20 people there. If they're not collecting anything, um, also our food rations is really very high. So, Workers, your work is over for today. so let's put one food rations and one on coal. Amazing. Why hasn't that worked? Oh, it hasn't. Someone hasn't built the path. Let's extend that all the way around there. Just. Just to make sure. So, we're getting, uh, like, we're getting, like, let's have, a, let, let's have a think about this, all right? We want the steam reload, reload station. So let's, right, let's do that. Get the steam reload stations. Upgraded docks as well, uh, which we can actually build. Once we've got enough, once we've got enough, like, resources. There's, right, so we, these are going to the Trapper's Cabin. Hopefully there's some good stuff there. Um, what other things do we need? Let's put one more guy on there. This is nearly finished, which is amazing. That's, to be fair, that's actually done. That's really done really quick. Um, we do need we do need five steam exchanges though. So, uh, because a thing a thing happens. You know what? Actually, look, we'll yeah. This is the other way. We're going to go to the rapids. Hopefully, we can get there before the thing I was literally just talking about happens. So, um, an accident will happen in here at some point. I can't remember where. But you need five steam exchangers to build safety equipment to save the people. If you need, if you want to have the perfect generator, you like, could you can shut off like the source of the heat from down below. However. Uh, the generator will, ha will have enough power, but you'll lose all the people, like, not all the people, but a lot of people on the actual work site, which we don't want. We want to we want to save as many guys as possible. Um, so we've got that coming in four hours. That means we need a few more houses. Um, ten. So how many do we need? Uh, one. That's 16. That's 24. Oh, I need another one, don't we? There we go. See, we've got um, comfortable quarters on, so that means only eight people can fit in one tent. Very annoying, but we'll deal, we'll deal with it. Make it work. So once this is finished, um, I'm gonna actually stick them straight on the on the old pressure valves. All right, that's done. We can actually oh, unless we no no no, we want the. We want the steam reload stations. Um, what have we got here as well? 
two idle engineers. We can put those to use, you know. I'm going to build another tech uh, workshop. And we kind of need... We kind of need a... To be fair, we've got 16... Yeah. Uh, literally, literally, I was just saying this. A workers' council were proposing to build a care house for the gravely ill. Yeah, that's what we need. It's a real issue for another day. No, of course, we'll do it. Yeah, we definitely need we definitely need that. Um, we got houses being built. It's amazing. Um, that's going to alleviate the care house is going to alleviate some of the medical stuff as well, which is good. Um, but yeah, the, we're running so low on resources. Still five days ahead of schedule, but it's one of those things, isn't it? Like, it can turn it can turn very quickly. So steam reload stations have just been researched. Um, so we've got four steam cores. If we upgrade that, it only takes one steam core. We don't need it on the coal. And I'm going to put one on the wood. Um, can we actually get... See, upgraded docks again. <laughs> I kind of want two upgraded docks. One for wood and one for steel. Um, we've got 60, 61 people now. Oh, is that finished? Yeah, I think yeah the pressure valves are finished. That's why we've got so many so many people free. Um, so we've got fifty in there. Still gives us eleven. Oh, we're gonna need some for the the steam and uh, uh, for the you know what I mean <laughs> for the upgraded ducks. That's what we're gonna do. So we're signing the care house law. Man, this is gonna be good. And. We'll Put that, put that next to the medical facilities. Why not? I'm wondering, you know. The, actually, the motivation's fine, isn't it? We, like I said, we might actually build another bathhouse, but I don't know. Oh, the uh, the brothel is not up and running just yet. Now it is. <laughs> the brothel, amazing. So, man, I can't believe, right? I can't believe we had to make a brothel just so people would stop doing it in the bathhouse. Like, come on, guys. Move on. Mountain Lake. I'm really hoping we can get this path done because this gives us more of these. So that's, that's good. Um, so if we start building... Oh, we can't. We don't have enough steel. Again, once we get these upgraded docks going, we're going to be flying. But until then... I'm a bit, I'm a bit on edge about this. To be totally honest, I'm a bit on edge because this could. Again, I don't know when it's going to happen, but there's an accident that's going to happen. So I don't know. We'll just deal. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Let's take five out of there. We don't need that much coal. And we'll whack them one on there because wood is very important. Oh, get the two engineers in there. So what did I say we were going to do? We were going to do. Um, let's do, oh, hang on. So safety improvements would be useful. All of it, right? So, yeah, I think I said last episode, we're just going to smash out this. Let's have another thing. We don't need that. 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 And don't need that. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to smash out all of these now. Um, hopefully you can do it very quickly. In fact, I might get a, a few more engineers. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to get 10 engineers. They've reached a mountain lake. Amazing. Oh, no, I don't want to set up the camp. I want to go to the collapsed mine. That's where I want to go. Oh, hang on. Hey, hang on. What have I done? Leave the camp. Go to the collapsed mine. Yeah, there we go. I was uh, getting a bit ahead of myself then. Rumble in the deep. Okay, this is the this is this is the issue here. So, if you don't have the safety equipment, then you're screwed. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is once we get the five steam exchanges, we're gonna produce it. Um, remind me when you have enough resources. However, we need to just actually. I kind of just want to get five of those as soon as possible. They take twenty each, which is a lot, but we can deal with it. Is that a steam one? Yeah, that's getting... So every two hours we're going to get 20, which is pretty good. I'm going to upgrade the docks while it's not working time. Actually, no, can I? Oh, yeah, because the, the reload station doesn't actually get upgraded. Never forget. Um, 
Boss, Workers' Council wants to celebrate anniversary of Red and Bread riots. Oh, hang on, no, no, no. Side, side of the engineers is fine. We need, we need these steam exchanges. That's what we need. Okay, so we're actually full of, we're actually full of wood as well now. Um. Oh no, we're full of wood. What we can do actually. Quick tip. You can store you can kind of store wood in here. If you have like no workers and they're not producing them, then they, then it will just be stored in there and then you can just you get the same amount of wood back out. Top tips top tips from uh, Jack on the old Frostpunk the last autumn. Right, we need to get to yeah, here, here we go. This is this is where we need to get to. Lost crates. Um, when we get there, I'll I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But it's uh it's interesting. It's the fro the frost punk law is a uh, very it's is very they've done it very well. Like uh, the universe and everything. Let's see what we can do now. Work standardization. Um. Let's go back to administration. What other things have we got on here? Prosthetics or medical repatriation? Pa patriation? You know what? We don't have any dead people just yet. I say just yet. Um, so we don't really need that. We could send the people who have amputees home. Um, or we could get them prosthetics, which means they could go back to work. Um, but then you need to ship in the prosthetics. That's the thing. Um, we'll leave that for now. Let's go to the labour, the labour one. I might do that actually. They're more efficient during short shifts. Or we could go up here. Actually, yeah, yeah let's do that. Let's do that. We want to. We want to. We want to get all the way to the top. Maybe not all the way to the top, but so we've got ten engineers on their way. How many beds have we got? We got thirty-six vacant beds, so we're doing pretty well for doing pretty well for beds, you know. Still five days ahead of schedule. I'm just. I'm just very. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take people off of that because I'm very worried about that going mental, like before we have the safety equipment I don't want to I don't want to like I said I was going to do it quick but I don't want to rush that do you know what I mean so as soon as we get to oh right so you've got more yeah more stuff so the lost crates you get a lot of stuff here look 20 20 of those boys and 10 of the others um it says they're not ours so in like the main game there's a scenario for winter home and it turns out these crates have fallen off the uh, the convoy to winter home uh, but we know winter home gets screwed over anyway so they don't, they don't need the crates if you do go to the cargo convoy it gives you the option to give the crates back but then I don't think you get anything from it like in the future you just lose you just lose them resources so uh, lake full of fish has been depleted oh so let's send those over to the mountain lake. Um, to be fair, the f an, a fully upgraded fishing harbour, which we don't have, um, but an advanced one with the, th the boosts and everything and finer meshes, can support 300 and like th over like nearly 320 20 people. Right, engineers have arrived. Stick them in here. We need to get researching as soon like as quick as possible. So I'm going to stick another couple of those down. And what are we actually going to research? Um, so, let's go here. And also, we need to... I was going to say I was going to do upgraded ducks, and I still can't get the upgraded ducks. Okay, safety equipment. Prepare the safety equipment. There we go. That's fine. So, we used five steam exchanges for that. And now let's get men back in there. It's unhealthy to work there, but it's better than dangerous let's get the engineers in there engineers in there and now we've got 190 percent research boost on that um oh my god what is this 
Council representatives rouse the workers to protest your sign of official doctrine. Why are you trying to muzzle the workers' council? Oh, go over it. Go over it. Discontent's pretty low. Uh, strike risk is it's, it's low anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Just get over it, guys. Come on. We've got, we've got to build the generator. Um, let's, have a, let's have a think what we're doing. Upgraded docks is definitely the next thing we need to do. So let's put one on there. And one on there before we before we forget. See, we've got a lot of stuff there. That was very good. What we're gonna do as well? I mean, we could send them. A, so that's another route to food. So you know what? I'm actually just gonna disband these. Uh, not that one. Disband these ones. That means we get fifteen more workers. Um. And then we can we can re like redo them again. Send them back out when we open more more stuff up. So we're actually doing very well here. Five days ahead of the schedule. Um, let's get another one of these going. Innovative processes, or do we need? We'll do that one first. Uh, so the upgraded the docks are getting upgraded. Eventually, we're not going to need wood, like eventually, but we, we're going to need steel and coal. So that's still getting built, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. So this is going to have two piles. Oh, we don't have enough steel. <laughs> Again, it's the story of this playthrough, isn't it? Don't have enough steel. These have been upgraded as well, so... If I get... I, I put one reload station on each one. Set up the camp there. Bring, bring them, bring them food. Bring that food back, guys. I was gonna say, bring them fish back. Is it fish? I think it is fish. Yeah, fish. Mate, these guys have been living on fish. We're actually doing very well for discontent and that. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the amputees. I'm not gonna lie. So let's stick ten on there. Like I said, when we when we get this steel production up, it's it's gonna be a uh, we're gonna be flying. I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna unlock the next. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh no. Oh, it's fine though. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Get them out now. We have to rescue them. Don't worry. We can we can rescue them. We can rescue them. Send rescue with safety equipment. So. The source is exposed. There was a catastrophic accident in the lower levels. A cave-in exposed the underground heat source. So, if you don't have the safety equipment, you can't use this. Um, so, the options are seal off the source, but it's not its not going to be a perfect generator. Which we, We're going for the perfect generator, guys. Um, if you leave the source open, all the workers underground will die. I think that means everyone will die. Um, but the generator, gener the generator will be fine. That's I don't know. Like depends on your on your, on your morals, but <laughs> I guess the generator being fine is going to um, save a lot more people. But the best thing to do is either use escape routes, but you can't because it's not safe, um, or have the safety equipment. Uh, people will get injured, but the generators have normal power, which is what we like. Um, so yeah, absolutely amazing. So let's have a look. Profiles manage for on strike. Offer them the rest of the day off. Has that worked? Yeah, that's worked. They're not they're not building anything, are they? So they don't really need to. I'll tell you what actually, we can We do need 50 for the next the next stage of this. So let's start making those. So that's another 21, I think. If I can do quick maths, 21. Uh, we're gonna do. Oh, we're gonna open that up. 125 wood we need for that. Successful evacuation. Amazing. Amazing. The generator will achieve its full heat and power, which is what we like. Several workers are hurt though, which we don't. We don't like. That's bad. So 15 become grave. Hang on. 15 people were wounded. And they're all being treated like straight away. You know what? All these amputees, man. I feel bad. I genuinely feel bad for them because 
I don't know, I kind of want them just getting prosthetics, but it's expensive to get prosthetics, you know what I mean? Didn't even have anyone on these. Right, I'm going to put these on extended shifts. In fact, I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back for extended shifts on everything. Uh, not on these, though. Not on the coal. I think we're doing pretty well for coal. Uh, but you could all... That's the thing, you could always, always have more of everything. That's the thing. Um, let's put another couple of resource depots down. This is going very well as, as well. The food rations are extremely high. I'm wondering if we'd actually just take off people from the fishing harbour for now. We could do that. Now, let's see what we can do up here. Abolition, ab abolition of privileges. So you can employ engineers as workers. Propaganda increases motivation of workers in the nearby workplaces. Selfless sacrifice. Um... I don't think I don't think we need that. Um, let's do that because we we do need the people's militia at some point. So we'll we'll, we'll we'll head to that head to that 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 part of the um you know I'm you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, so let's put food rations up and coal as well. So raw food. You know what I'm gonna shut down this for now. The fishing harbour is going it's going well it's going well but we've got so much food. How's this going as well? It's fifty-six percent. Man, this is going to be um. Oh, fill that up to the max. Oh no! Eleven more people were wounded. It's dangerous. This is unfortunate. There's nothing we can do about this. All right. I mean, there is, but. <laughs> These safety improvements don't actually apply to the work site, they just apply to the cert different, um, you know, the different, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the, the different, um, places where they make the stuff, so, you know what I might do? Oh, no, we're going to open this up, aren't we? I'm wondering if we do do ventilation plant. Or, no, I don't think... No, I don't think we do. All hail the generator. Um, what is this? Sir, to impress the people on the importance of their work, they must be engaged. They had a generator. Uh, we got, we got, yeah, we've got loads of, we got loads of food, haven't we? Motivations, motivations max, max out. Okay, guys. So. My microphone just cut out and I've lost about three minutes of gameplay and I'm not gonna lie I literally cannot remember what I've just done <laughs> in those three minutes however what I do know is we said we're gonna start getting oh we're gonna start getting prosthetics in for, for people and this is actually nearly finished now literally you're 98% like come on guys can you just stay and finish it just 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 a little bit longer just a little bit longer so today Oh, hang on. Suspicious fire. A fire devastated the construction of the site. Thankfully, it broke out after working out after working hours. So there's no victims. Uh, construction will stop for four hours. Safety level will fall by two levels. If I do speed, right, man, that's so dangerous working there. Um, it's a, oh, hang on. It's been set back. Oh no, it was set back a little bit. Um, let me put that on. Hopefully that will be done today as well. Uh, so yeah, four hours. Hopefully this will be done. Yeah, this will be done today. So, oh, we've researched supercharged. See, we're doing very, we're doing very well on resource at the moment. In fact, I might have to put a more, more, um, you know what I mean, more resource depots. But let's start a new research. Um, do optimize protection no do safety improvements there and then optimize protection okay soon going very well so there we go stage two complete i think we're about five days ahead of schedule which is insane um so uh, the next our milestone is the harder generator uh so yeah that's it we'll be doing that next episode so thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video remember to press the like button and if you do like city builder simulation and management games just like this 
then remember to press the scri uh, subscribe button, it would be awesome. And if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. But as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.